guys, it's Yolanda Renee. Today is going to be a couple's get ready with me. We haven't vlogged in a while, so we are getting ready for Devin's show tonight. So I figured we have some time, so why not vlog this process and do like a cute couple's thing? Because you guys loved when we went out to lunch um, in our other vlog. So yeah, so today is a couple's vlog. Sorry, I may show Taylor and Sky, but um, they're going to my mom's house, so. All right, so anyway, I'm about to show you guys what we're wearing. I copied off Devin, y'all, because he had his outfit ready for a minute. Um, so I was like, let me, you know, coordinate with him. Coordinate. But not like cheesy, like not dressing alike. Like, that's just whack. <laughs> that's a good conversation. What do you guys think about couples dressing exactly alike? Like, head to toe. Like, it's cute for Taylor Sky sometimes, but for a couple... Let's talk in the comments. All right, anyway, let's. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing and then I'm gonna tell you what I have on my lips. So, here are our clothes. I made Devin pull his out so we could show you guys before we got dressed. But Devin is wearing this hat with just some black jeans that he ripped up. I think he ripped up the, um, the knees. Then, um, he has uh, this t-shirt and he actually made this t-shirt himself uh he actually put some um bleach on it he did a good job and some holes i didn't help him at all he did it and then his jacket him and his friend shelton made this it's so cute they put a little patch on there it says don't take away music it's just a um, camo jacket, almost like a windbreaker material. And then on the back, him and his friend wrote or designed this. It says Dreamers in paint and paint splatter. I think it's really dope. For my outfit, I went um, with camo like Devin. So I have this camo jacket, nothing on the back of it, and it's a little bit different. And then I found this hoodie at zoomies i think that's how you say it and it has a pocket has zipper on the sleeve and it also has a hood it's a hood on there i'm gonna wear i wanted to wear this as a dress but it was a little too short um i tried it on a few times so i'm gonna put these um leggings on and this is why i have that um dark lipstick on because I figure it match my leggings then I have some really thigh high boots and I will link those below very affordable and then a hat because my wig be tripping y'all so I got to hide that that part <laughs> and I think Devin's wearing Jordans these Jordans with his outfit so yeah and as promised, here is the lipstick I'm wearing. This is MAC Sin. The color is so beautiful. And the lip liner I use is um, Vino. like this much of my legs but Taylor was like um no mommy no <laughs> so I ended up putting on these leggings to still kind of give that illusion of nothing but no but seriously um y'all this is like the easiest outfit ever um there's so many different takes on it basically just keep the pieces the same um these thigh high boots some leggings, a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, any type of shirt, and a cute jacket and a hat, some hoop earrings. This is like the best style because I'm super comfy because it's so laid back. And then these boots, these boots are not even hard to walk in. So yeah, now I'm going to try to get Devin up. You guys are not familiar with artists. Like they are crazy. <laughs> like legit crazy so whenever Devin has a show 
we have to like leave him alone like he has to get in the zone so he gets real quiet he doesn't talk much um he keeps to himself to get in i guess in the zone so when he performs um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you guys his commercial because he had a commercial here in our little town. November 5th, 2016, we're going to bring new life to the downtown area in Salisbury as we celebrate the first ever urban arts festival, downtown Salisbury. Join us artists, musicians, and just some all around amazing people. Headquarters Live, 11 5 2016 see y'all but right now i'm trying to get seven up i know what y'all thinking in the comments y'all be taking up for seven that's okay but y'all probably like let the man be let him rest but i mean i have to push sometimes or he would never be on the vlogs okay so i get you but you guys like have to understand where I come from too. All right, so let's go try to wake him up. Okay. Need a few minutes. Huh? You see what I'm saying? Where I'm going with that? How he ends up losing 15 years. I'm getting ready to go to my show at headquarters live. This is a a very very important night because I think a lot of people in Salisbury are gonna be out and uh, you know they really get to see what I do. So as far as my outfit, um. Tonight was no rules. Um, I'm not being cocky, but before social media, I was cool before social media. So, you know, this this kind of represents just us having fun and, and having no rules and, and what we're wearing. The Dreamers, the Dreamers jacket definitely represents my crew and everything we stand for. Um, don't look at it too long because I know people like to copy, but. We tonight tonight's just gonna be one of those one of those nights where we're gonna vibe out and and I'm gonna let people know like I'm serious, I'm here now. I mean I've been here but like I'm really here now. Cause uprising and everybody is gonna you know, they're gonna tear it down. But both of us got our camos jackets cause we we wore already. Other than a woman, like when you're going out, you know she representing you, and you don't even have to worry about it. You know what I mean? Aww. It's dope. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. Oh. Devin's element was just so much fun seeing him, you know, get pumped for his show, him and his band praying, and then finally seeing him on stage. It was amazing. The crowd was amazing. 
I can't let you guys hear the music because copyright issues, even though he's my fiance. <laughs> um, and also the sound quality was really bad because I was so close to the stage and, you know. Um, but here, one of his biggest fans came to his show and they let him in even though he was underage. And Devin, like, you know, took him under his wing in the green room backstage and he also brought him on stage. So that was pretty dope. And then afterwards, his Alpha Brothers and so many other artists were there to support him. It was amazing. And I hope you guys saw Aaron Camper. He's a dope, dope artist. And um, he performed tonight as well. And him and Devin are really good friends. But I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. I'm just going to let this play out. And let's see what else happens in the vlog. Oh, so we just picked the whole fit out everything, cut everything ourselves. It's not like this short, though. Mom, cut Yo, hey, yo, stop hey, getting that one! Hey, hey, please, who, who the hell you get from? You think about, you think about every fucking moment that we get. We don't enjoy those moments. Like, we, we stressed out, we get stressed out about shit. We worry about shit that don't matter instead of just taking advantage of that moment. Take advantage of that moment while you're in it. You know what I mean? And if you do that every time, then y'all, you will not lose. Yo, big ups to my man. That's why I wasn't that dope. That's why I wasn't one day. All right, so it's the next day. Enough of that manly rah rah. <laughs> Let's get back to our girly things. Um, here's Finn. Oh, he's so cute. And oh. I forgot to vlog the UPS guy, right? UPS, yeah. I forgot. They dropped off my iPhone. I was pumped, y'all. I was stalking him. <laughs> hey, guys. So, I'm not in the best spirits right now, um, but I'm about to go to Barnes & Noble because I am tired of being... Or, oh, God, sorry. I am tired of self sabotage okay y'all i have so many ideas that i want to do but i keep holding myself back and i was just talking about this on snapchat i look a mess because i don't have makeup on like seriously guys um oh and i don't have nails y'all i got my nails taken off because they were getting too long and breaking and hurting so i need a break yeah anyway back on subject i feel like all of us as black women especially we have so many ideas that we want to do like as far as like business and honestly in my opinion any type of business that you're passionate about is not even really a business it's your life you know so i just have so much planned for my life for my family but i'm like holding myself back and it's weird and at first on snapchat i was saying like why do we hold ourselves back like why but honestly um the reason like most people think the reason is fear but i don't think it's fear because i'm not afraid like i'll try anything but i think it's multitasking i my mind if you guys can see what my brain looks like it's all over the place I have so many ideas and it's so overwhelming that I kind of feel like I don't pursue them and it's not out of fear it's just it's craziness in here like it's crazy someone mentioned that we as women we're great multitaskers and that's so true and I figured out just from her saying that 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 is my problem I have the ability to multitask but multitasking can be a curse as well because I feel like you do so much in so many different areas that you're not zoning in on that one thing to make it successful and then move on to the next thing the next thing which you multitask in each one of those areas but you still need to zone in on one thing make it su make it successful why can I talk Make it successful and then move on to the next thing. And then don't forget, you still need to go back to that first thing as well to make sure it continues to be a success. So I think that is my issue. I mean, just look at it like 
and I have an online store which I suck at thank you guys for supporting it but I have so much to learn and to like do to make that successful my YouTube channel again you guys already know I don't upload family vlogs as much as I should I mean when I do they're still quality videos but it's just getting the time to do it because I'm spread so thin doing so many different things but I really spread so thin that it looks like I'm doing absolutely nothing <laughs> um <clears throat> but even like my coloring books they're on Amazon but they have not reached their potential yet and it's because I'm not doing the work required to do that you know what I mean um and all this started from when I was talking about on Snapchat my paintings. You guys know I've been working on my paintings forever. Um, but honestly, it's so easy to do them. I could do a painting. I promise a painting will take me an hour. So honestly, I could paint a whole entire collection in a day. But I don't zone in and just get it done. And once they're done... I can do so much with them. Like the possibilities are endless. But again, I'm holding myself back and it's so frustrating. Um, but anyway, so I'm on my way to Barnes and Noble now because I'm gonna pick up this book. Someone on Snapchat told me about it. What is it called? Millions, the millions within, I think is what it's called. Um, so I'm going to go snag that book and hopefully it'll like, you know, help me piece everything together and really get moving because I just can't keep holding myself back like I'm getting older. I need to have everything in place for Taylor and Sky and for their children and their children. Like I'm trying to really build a legacy, <sighs> an empire. But yeah, how I look right now is how I feel, okay? Like, my mind is all over the place. I'm ready to, like, get it together. So, yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the beginning of the vlog, which was um, Devin's show performance. Show performance. His concert here in our hometown, it was so dope. Um, but that footage was only 15 minutes long because... The actual concert portion, I was so close to the stage and where the speakers were that the, excuse me, the sound quality was really, really bad. So I didn't get to put as much footage as I, as I wanted to. And I know you guys were not having it with no 15 minute vlog. So I'm just going to pick it up here. Like I said, I'm about to go to Barnes & Noble, get this book, and I'll share it with you guys. So maybe if you guys are having issues with pursuing your dreams and really getting things in motion, maybe this will help you as well. Um, then we need to pick up the girls. I want to take Finn to get groomed, but I don't know if I want to take him. Um, Finn, you want to say hi? Hi. Can you say hi to the vlog? Oh, you give me kisses. You give me kisses. Oh, 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 okay. No more kisses. No, no. I don't want I don't want your kisses. I don't want your kisses. Look. Look at everybody. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah, he needs to be groomed because this is what he starts to look like after a while. Even if I brush him, like I brushed him. I try to brush them a few times a day. Um, but yeah. So let's go. I don't want to talk too much. I like action. I want you guys to see what's happening in my world. But yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, before we go, look, you guys. I got the Finn. No. I got the new iPhone. Oh, you can't even see it. The lighting is weird. But yeah, I got the new iPhone 7 Plus. It's huge huge look it is so big the size of my head um but yeah i love it i'm gonna do a review on it so if you guys want me to do a review let me know and in the comments tell me um ask questions if you have any questions about it but yeah i love it and this case is by case me case me is so pretty these are like rose gold crystals so many of them all right let's get out of here all right, then you stay here, okay? Stay. Okay. 
you want to hang out? Okay. Oh, That's a good guy. It's really good. And all 
your secrets. Mm -hmm. I know some of them, and I'll say them all liar. All right, my turn. All right, so I have three this books. This is my emoji day. And um, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, I recently did a rant about just, can y'all stop a rant? Oh, sorry about their hair too, y'all, because we are about to get ready for bed. I'm going to twist their hair. What? So the three books I got were basically books that I needed for motivation, motivation. to start my brand and really grow it because I'm just like too complacent, you know, like I'm just in a standstill. That is a great idea. It works for your brain and it helps your brain get Mommy. more creative. Mama. I need those books when I get older because Mama. I'm not good at making stories. Oh, that's so sweet. I love girl boss. And we have our mermaid blankets. Oh, yeah, you, I'll show you if them you in watched, a second. If, um, the next book is called How to Be Here by Rob Bell. So, the last one is called Shoe Dog, and it's by Phil Knight. And this is a memoir by the creator of Nike. So, all three of these books... um. Well, this one is actually in a Christian section, and this one, it says that it basically helps wake up your your mind. If you guys have seen the movie Limitless, which I love, oh my god, I love Limitless. Just hit me in the face! But they said this book is like that Limitless pill. I forgot what the pill was called, but if you read this and really soak in everything he's saying then you will be on like cloud nine and your mind will just be going um and you can accomplish whatever you put your mind to or like wakes you up these two are more business type books um of course this is the ceo of nasty gal and this is the ceo or creator of nike so these are very inspirational as well and all of these books i got um from my leak my leak she is amazing the founder of Curlbox, and she suggested these books so i'm excited to start reading them Who that? It's mine. <laughs> taylor sky and these phones they be texting and calling each other it's crazy but anyway what? let's say goodbye they're really texting each other right now The blue one is fine, Meg. I'm going to put y'all text messages in this vlog. So y'all better not be saying nothing bad. So, yeah. So, Taylor and Sky have phones now. Because, of course, we have extra phones. Um, so there's I've been... I wanted Taylor to have one because she's getting older now. And then, of course, I can't let Taylor have one if Sky can't have one. So that's why I decided to let them both have a phone. But I'm starting to regret it already because I feel like technology changes your communication skills. Like, yeah. why are they texting each other when they could be talking? So I don't want to, want to teach them not to talk. So it's weird. It's just gonna make us more shy. Yeah. Bye. Bye. I love you guys. Oh, guys, Bye. guys, if you watch, um, it, my favorite YouTuber is Andy Young. I honestly, he's like my favorite YouTuber. I watch his videos every day. And one time I was trying to get to get it early. I got a watch. I see, uh, so she, he made the video at 2 o'clock. But he actually did it because he was late. He was like, when he first made his video, he was like, Sorry, guys, that I'm late. I'm like, he was late. Like, really? My favorite YouTuber lately is Miranda C. <gasps> yeah. Oh She's my God. so I gotta, funny. I gotta... Not sure what night this was, but this was a later. I had some last minute um, things to do for a Palmer's campaign. Hopefully, you guys are following me on Instagram and Facebook because I've been posting my Palmer's um, posts like all week. I've had a lot of fun with these products. Um, if you haven't watched my wash and go routine, yo. I mean, somebody was like, it's not a wash and go, whatever. I'm talking about just your natural curl pattern. I don't care if you had to use water product, whatever. I use um, the hair pudding and my wash and go came out really good. This was a twist and curl that I totally failed on. Um, it actually came out good. The products did a really good job with, you know, making my hair in this 
curl pattern but I went too crazy with my hair pick and just frizzed it out too much so I consider it a fail I may still upload the tutorial anyway um, but after I messed up <laughs> with the frizz, I ended up going back and just rocking my natural curl pattern, which I was really impressed with. I think I show it in this vlog footage. I don't remember. Um, but if not, you can still watch the tutorial. Oh my God, I can't talk. <laughs> you can watch the tutorial and I'll put it in the little information bubble in the top. I don't know right left corner I don't know which corner it is and this edge control y'all do y'all see this I was like yeah and it lasted I mean this time it didn't last because I ended up restyling but the edge control is bomb we use it I mean my favorite is still cream of nature sorry but this one is really good as well <laughs> I'm just being honest <laughs> But I think I do show the wash and go. I think it's coming up next. Showing off the edge control. This is what happens behind the scenes when I'm doing videos, y'all. I'll be multitasking like I don't know what. But yeah, so this is how my hair looks with the product. And it like bringing out my natural curl pattern. Y'all, this day it was, I struggled filming. Like I did the Flexi Rod set. And then I did this one, which is a twist and curl with the perm rods. And then I, once I saw how my hair was curling up with the products, I was like, what's the point of doing perm rods if my curl's popping like this? So that's when I did this wash and go natural curl look, even though somebody came for me already. But um, yeah, I think it's a wash and go because it's your natural curl pattern. Whatever. Olive oil formula as well as Hello curls. So I am currently filming some flat lays for my Palmer's promotion. I have a video coming out. But you guys probably have already seen it because this vlog will go up later. But here's the intro. And I guess you can click here to go see the actual video. So now I'm trying to like style up my um, my flat lays. So I guess I went with this pink and green theme since it's the olive oil collection. I just have all this stuff in my purse with some glasses. And I'll use that somehow. I'll use that hat somehow. <laughs> To the groomer, you need to go to the groomer, huh? Are you ready to go to the groomer,
Who are you texting? Taylor. Where's Taylor? So right now I am about to edit a vlog because I know y'all want a vlog <laughs> and I'm also cooking breakfast. About to make some eggs. About to make some eggs. And look at my nails. I keep talking about my nails but I can't believe they're short. So crazy. No, it's never too late to say grace, okay? What? Yeah, you can say it at any time. You can always, no matter what time of the day, whether you're eating or not eating, if it's good or bad, it doesn't matter. You can always say grace, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead. I use it. Sky, please say grace with your sister. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for this food. For this food. Many, many blessings. Many, many blessings. I am Good job. I would have it hard. Y'all smacking? What? It's okay. Y'all know how we do. The same kind of breakfast every day. 